So I've been promising this for a little while, but I just want to make a quick video about my home office. Um, it's nothing special, um, but I think it's really useful. I find it really interesting anyway to look at other people's home offices and see what they do, see what um, I do, see what I can do better. Um, and it's quite nice to be able to show off your setup as well and, and show people this is the way I work and this is um, what I do, this is what my schedule kind of looks like. And I'll be doing a series of these sort of little videos. So I'm going to start off um, today by showing uh, my home office. I work out of home four days a week uh, and on the fifth day I work out of a co-working space um, which I'll show in another video. Let's just have a quick tour and I'll go through some of the uh, tech that I use, how I have Wi-Fi in the home and what kind of uh, products I use that I find help me focus better. So here's my home office. Uh, it's essentially the third bedroom of um, my house. I live in a three bed detached house just outside of Bath. And the third bedroom is actually quite a good size. It's not your average box room where you can barely uh, kind of scrape a bed in. It's, it's a great size for, for having a, um, a working setup. It's extremely comfortable. Um, I'm, I'm fairly well isolated. Um, I get plenty of work done. And, um, and it's a really, really nice place to be able to, uh, to work. I've got a nice big window. The first thing you'll see is this enormous cupboard. Um, this is just full of stuff from home. It's the only major piece of uh, kind of home stuff that's in the office. Um, if it wasn't there, I would probably have um, a little sort of table and chair um, so I could sit and read. Um, it's not that comfortable to sort of sit at a screen and read, I find. So we're moving over here. Um, I've got a uh, Herman Miller Aeron chair. This is the size C. Um, I'm not a big guy, but I was a bit sort of between the B and the C on their um, size chart. And I tried to be out once uh, in a shop and I found it sort of uncomfortable. I found the front sort of pinched my legs. So the C was um, a, good, uh, a good way forward. And I was able to get this one off eBay. It's the latest one. Um, I got it a couple of years ago now and it's extremely comfortable, um, provides plenty of support. And if you're sitting all day, I highly recommend getting a decent chair. That's on a, um, uh, a floor for, uh, so you can sort of roll around a little bit better. It's not massive. It just means that I'm not constantly trying to sort of pull the chair across carpet all day. Next to it, I've just got documents, mostly sort of work and home documents, but uh, it's useful to be able to kind of pick up your post and file it away straight away, so that's good. I think it's nice to have a bit of green uh, in your house, and that's, um, I don't know if you can see it in the back there, but it's uh, there is a watering globe, so if I go away for a few days, I know that my plant's gonna be watered, it's not gonna come out dead, and I haven't got leaves everywhere behind my desk that I've got clear up. And next to that, I've got a, um, a lamp. This is a great lamp. I'm not a fan of looking directly at bulbs. So um, having something that I could put behind my screen, something nice and slim, um, was, was really useful. It has a USB port on the back as well. Um, so I can use that to charge up my headphones. And it's also got various um, different types of lights. I'm not sure how well the camera's gonna pick that up and it can go obviously brighter or less bright, however you kind of want it. So. That was a, a that's a really nice kind of lamp. That was from Amazon, it's not very expensive. Always have water nearby. Um, I drink a lot of water um, and it's just good to make sure that whilst you're sat at your desk, you're getting in your kind of two liters a day. So um, I always have that and coffee obviously is very important. Next to that I've got a, this is just kind of a, a cheapy but fairly decent, it's, it's reasonably heavyweight um, microphone stand uh, with a blue Yeti on and a pop shield. Um, this is great for providing video um, kind of voiceovers or better quality in Skype calls. It, it's come in handy a couple of times when, I, when I've been on podcasts. If you want an external microphone, it's USB, it's really good. Up on the wall, I've got a set of speakers. Um, I've forgotten the exact model, but these are creative kind of um, media speakers, I think they are. Um, but they're just they're just really nice. They're, they're actually really decent speakers. Um, again, these are from Amazon. You can get them from a couple of different places. And I've just got them on some very basic shelves, uh, mainly to get them out of the way because I don't, as you can see, I don't have tons of space left on my desk after everything. Sound quality is not wonderful when you're sat down, um, but when you're stood up, um, it's great. And I, I say when you're stood up, where you only sit at a desk. This is an electric desk. Um, it's an electric sit-standing desk. Has controls on the front here, and you can raise it right up. I've got um, long cables for everything, so nothing's kind of stretching or pulling down below. And I know that's an absolute mass of cables and I've yet to tidy that up, but annoyingly, these fantastic Belkin surge protecting power strips, which are excellent, no longer have mounting holes on the back so they can't go on the wall. And therefore I, I've been sort of restricted in tidying all of this up. Um, but I, I don't notice it, my feet don't touch it or anything. So 
it's not so bad. Um, on the desk, I've got um, an Apple wireless keyboard. This is a newer one uh, with a numeric keypad. I can't do without a numeric keypad. I can deal with it for a bit, but when I'm sat at a desktop kind of situation, um, I much prefer having a numeric keypad and um, a wireless mouse. That's the first gen, not the second gen. Um, and I really like it, actually. Um, then I've got my backup hard drive. That's a rugged, uh, lacy, one terabyte drive. Um, it's USB 3 and it's brilliant, it's very quick. Uh, the right for the TV on the wall, which I'll show in a second. And these are fairly new edition. These are AKG N60 NCs. They are essentially noise cancelling wireless um, on-ear headphones. And they're excellent. They're extremely comfortable. Um, they're fine when I wear my glasses. Um, they sit on my head just fine. And the sound quality I think is really good. I'm not an audiophile, but at the same time, I, I do kind of care about good sound quality, So, and those have been excellent, so I've, I've really enjoyed having those. And the battery life's really good on them um, as well. And they charge up via USB, which is plugged into my lamp, so that's quite nice. My main screen is, I think it's a 24 or 25 inch um, Dell screen. I've, again, I've forgotten the exact model, but it's um, it's a 4K screen. Um, it's, it's really good for the money. Um, I think it's about sort of 350 pounds, something like that. Um, it's not amazing, but it's it's a good quality uh, main screen, and and I do really like it. Um, and next to that, I've got this is a new 2017 uh, MacBook Pro. Um, it's fully spec'd out. I got it in the Apple refurbishment store, and after doing that, I can't understand why anyone would ever go for anything brand new. Actually, if you can get it in the refurbishment store, I highly recommend doing that. Uh, you can save quite a lot of money and. Um, it's brand new, you never ever know that anyone has ever owned it beforehand, um, even for just kind of a few days. So, and that's on a Griffin kind of laptop riser. And it's just trying to get the screens kind of almost as, as level as possible, at least at the bottom. Up above, there is a TV. Um, so this is where all my kind of metrics come in for my WordPress plugin. So that's my um, main kind of working setup. Um, behind here um, is a Mac mini with a backup um, time Machine Drive and a Drobo 5C I believe and that kind of runs my media centre as well as um, the TV and a number of other things um, in the house so um, that's quite nice it's just a nice way to put that somewhere um, this is essentially you know usually dead space kind of behind here and um, it's, it's nice to kind of hide that away and not have it anywhere else in the house this is really old, I must have had this about 10 years, it's an HP printer, occasionally I need to print things out mainly for home use as opposed to business use but um, it's there and it's fine and it sits on top of this thing which is um, mostly stationary uh, batteries, technology, things like that, um, paper cutter and, and so on and, it, and that's run off another um, although older Belkin surge protector. I've got this Honeywell um, tower fan. Um, Obviously desk fans take up quite a lot of space. They're not wonderfully efficient. Um, tower fans probably aren't wonderfully efficient either, but I found that it was certainly better than any um, desk fan that I could find. And it takes up a lot less space and it's actually very good. It, it can twist, it can, um, you can set up timers for it, you can make it sort of like a, a breeze mode so it goes sort of fast, slow, fast, slow, like kind of simulating a breeze outside. Um, it's really good and you know in summer it's quite a nice way of kind of you can put it in the door and kind of funnel um, air in or out of the room um, if it's hot and whatever so that's quite good and then a paper shredder which is obviously fairly essential for any kind of business. I'm not a great fan of the keep calm and carry on poster it kind of you know um, it came and went as like a bit of a fad recently but um, a friend of mine screen printed this so at least I know it's kind of somewhat one of a kind. This is a blackout blind. Um, these are bought online, they're custom. Um, I've got them for the whole house, but um, at, in the summer particularly, but particularly now as we're entering sort of early spring, the sun's beginning to come around this side of the house earlier and sun pours in straight onto my screen. And having a regular blind would be fine, but it would just kind of diffuse the light. So by having a blackout blind, um, it really does stop it dead and it does keep it a lot cooler in here in the summer as well so that's I would say that's fairly essential. So it's also worth mentioning that I run everything off of Wi-Fi I'm not hardwired in um, anywhere. As far as I can tell anyway Wi-Fi is good enough for at least a small house 
um, to run everything, especially if it's got the throughput um, like you get from um, AC um, wireless devices. This is a Ubiquiti um, Unify AP Pro and mounts it to the ceiling. I've currently got this um, going via Ethernet, which is kind of tacked along the ceiling, um, but I will be swapping that out for a patch box and um, and kind of hiding all this cable away into the ceiling at some point. This is connected to um, my router, uh, which is a billion 8800AXL, I think, um, and that's on Plusnet Fibre um, in the UK. Um, I get about 55, 60 meg down and about 10 up, so that's more than adequate usually for um, pushing sites live and um, working on, on the web in general really. Um, it's, it's pretty good uh, for downloading large files and so on from clients and stuff. So I've got it all hidden up here on this shelf because uh, like a lot of my houses in the UK, the telephone points are usually in the hallway still and um, I don't really want to pay to have it moved. So I installed a, a Mark III faceplate, um, which essentially builds in the splitter into it. So there's kind of less cabling again. I've just got a, a good quality, um, sort of short length cable, but a, ca a you know, cable of some length nonetheless, uh, running up to the router, which is on the shelf, uh, along with, um, this is a child-friendly cover um, for a um, double plug socket. Uh, and then that runs up to uh, up the corner there into a uh, Belkin surge protector. Um, this box here is a uh, PoE uh, injector for the um, Unify access point um, because you can power it over ethernet. The access point itself is mounted nearly central to the whole house. So it's, it provides really great coverage. I think I've got it set up to maximum, but I get coverage way out into the garden as well. Um, and then I get it right out to the garage, which is at the front of the house. Um, and everything kind of runs off that and I've never had a problem with it at all. The throughput is excellent, coverage is excellent, I highly recommend it um, and if you're serious about um, internet at home and Wi-Fi at home then I do recommend getting some kind of uh, almost consumer level enterprise equipment if that's a, if that, if that's a thing. Um, home office or home level networking equipment just doesn't cut it really, and and I certainly notice the issues with that and um, drops in and out. So I would highly recommend getting something like a Ubiquiti access point. Um, they're about 115 quid, um, and they're absolutely excellent. Um, the configuration is good, and again, the software that runs that is on the Mac Mini upstairs on my desk, so I can just um, screen share into that and change any settings that I might want to, um, and then it just uh, flashes to this, um, and away we go again. So. That's how I do Wi-Fi in my house. So yes, that's my setup. Um, I really like it, it's really comfortable to work at. I try and alternate my day between sitting and standing and it's just a, it's just a great setup. Um, when I've got the door closed, um, if my wife and my daughter are at home, and my daughter does uh, kind of part-time in nursery, my wife does part-time hours and looks after our daughter, um, if I need to, I can stick on my noise cancelling headphones and I literally won't hear anybody unless they open the door and they were stood in the room um, talking to me. So they are a really great way of being able to work from home um, whilst not completely isolating yourself from everything else that's going on. So anyway, uh, probably gone on for way too long, but that's my home office setup. This is my Monday to Thursday. And in another video, I'll do a bit about um, how I work out of a co-working space on a Friday. Thanks.